Good day, my Kardec Radio Spirits as friends. We come to you once again with chapter readings from the book, The Way, the Truth, and the Life, from the Spirit of Manual, through the mediumship of Francisco Candito Javier. Today's chapter reading is number 71, entitled, Being a Witness. Jesus said, and this will happen to you so that you may be a witness. Recorded by Luke, chapter 21, verse 13. Emmanuel wrote, of course, the master does not like to see his disciples immersed in suffering. However, considering people's many needs, he understands the indispensable character of trials and obstacles. Modern pedagogy is replete with selective efforts, with competitions involving skills and with tests of intelligence. The gospel offers similar situations. Friends of Christ should not be gloomy persons who expect suffering. However, knowing their place of toil on a plane like the earth, they should expect all kinds of difficulties. For the counterfeit pleasures of the world, the planet is full of mistaken leaders. How can we call upon the Savior to continue such illusions? When we are called to Christ, it is so that we may learn how to work for the bigger picture. Remembering that service begins within ourselves. There are many educated persons who have become mentors for those who would like to have the deceitful delights of the physical realm. In the gospel, however, that is not the case. When the master invites someone to take part in his endeavor, it is not so that the person may weep in discouragement or lie around in idle contentment. If the master has called you, Remember that he already considers you worthy of being a witness. Emmanuel, once again, enlightens us, as he does so often, to be a witness. When one thinks of being a witness, normally we have a vision of a courtroom scene with people testifying for the accused and ones testifying against the accused. A similar pattern of for and against occurs on the earth plane regarding people that swear by certain pleasures of life regarding drugs, alcohol, sex, smoking, or gambling. All of these so-called pleasures carry the heavy burden of addiction. People that are lulled into these addictions lack the will to resist the allure of the so-called pleasures resulting from these addictions. If we are called as a witness for Christ, then we must demonstrate sufficient willpower to overcome any desire to indulge in these pleasures and instead concentrate on using our willpower to build our gratitude and humility, which will then open the door to learning, loving, and serving. Of course, there will be trials and obstacles which require willpower and effort and repetition to overcome. As one of my grandmothers was so fond of saying, nothing beats a failure but a success. This is how we become a better person, not by sitting back and relaxing, because we all have duties and chores that require our attention, such as work, childcare, dishwashing, cooking, helping our neighbors, friends, and family, some large duties and some small ones. And during these small tasks and the more demanding ones, there will be difficult difficulties and obstacles that must be addressed. We can sit back and weep in discouragement, or we can have the willpower to plow through these impediments. This is life on the physical plane, loaded with duties and responsibilities for ourselves, family, and others. And of course, all these tasks should be done with joy in one's heart. When we work on understanding ourselves, then we can develop the habit of being resigned to success while not becoming content with idleness or being pulled into those exciting yet unrewarding counterfeit pleasures of the earth as Emmanuel wrote. Idleness mesmerizes us. It creates a rust deposit in our will, which 
makes a small obstacle seem overpowering. We can protect our bodies and minds by feeding our bodies nourishing foods, exercising, and thanking our body for doing a good job. And likewise, we can feed our mind and spiritual body through continual prayer, as all acts can be turned into a prayer, and creating the habit of loving and serving all we can. This is being a witness to Christ. I'd like to finish with a little poem entitled, But You Know needs to go. During our busy day, when asked to help in some little or big way, we need to set aside our own agenda for a time. Without adding those three little words, but you know, that qualify if and when we may be able to provide. Those three words, but you know, means it will be some time before we can be of service to those we know. So practice each and every day to stop and think before you use but you know as a reason why we just have to say no. Just remember each time we help those we may or may not know, we are able to increase that goodness that helps in regenerating our earth ever more so. Good day, my Kardec Radio spiritual friends, and continue your prayers under this strain of this virus for those that have the coronavirus those that are protecting those or taking care of those people that have the coronavirus and just in general for everybody in, on this earth plane. It is a difficult time and so be it.